bit of an unplanned update on the Wave Plus, the one with the uh, really stuck handle. Uh, I managed to get it moving to the point where I can do it with my two hands and not have to lock this thing in a vise. And the way I did that was literally torching it, just going ham on it. So you can see the tips there are kind of bronze colored. That's because those have been heated up. And now you can see that this pivot right here has also been heated. And I just hit both sides until it was like smoking and then let it cool. And I think you can see a little bit of residue. Hi Mia. You're very annoying. Hi. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, you can see this has been heated and there's actually like some some residue that's coming out from the heating and this does seem to be working there's a there's a better look at that that uh, scale building up right there this this tool was very very clean um, I, I, I cleaned it dipped it in um, methylene chloride based stripper I flushed it with acetone I've I've done the gambit and the only thing that's working is heat. So I'm just gonna keep heating it and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna do another round, heat it up, uh, not to the point where it's red hot, just like it'll start smoking a little bit from the oil that was on there and that, that's the point I'm going. Um, this may be degrading the hardness of the steel, uh, but I really don't care because this tool doesn't work if the handle can't open. So, you know, if you got a problem with it, uh, I'll see you in the comments. 150. Yeah, there you go. 300 some. She hot. Temper definitely getting screwed up, but you know what? I might just strip this for parts, so I don't really care. So I got the blade open. What the hell is this stuff? <laughs> well, it's charred now and gross so alcohol and uh steel scrub brush I'm just gonna just gonna get this crap off of here good lord okay so i got both the tools open and then tried the uh, torx again and you can see it's coming apart oh it's coming apart now we can finally get it clean and functioning, I think. The saw is, it was binding right about here, right about 90 degrees. So I think something's wrong with its, its pivot in here, but we're gonna get it cleaned up and, and see what happens. Just looking at uh, the pivot point on the uh, plier head, you can see this side's okay. And this side is very chewed up. I have to touch this up really, you know, a couple of swipes with the diamond file just to level this back out because it's not looking too great. But that's that's as much as I'm going to do. I don't want to throw off the tolerances. Just want to make sure there's nothing sticking up. And this is just, just a little rough. So here's your saw and your serrated blade. This is after just a Preliminary wipe with alcohol. All this stuff is, is really stuck on there. Also some stuff kind of baked onto these washers now. Um, yeah, it's not, not great. I don't know how all this stuff got in there. Here's the pivot post. And uh, it also has stuff on it, although this is coming off very easily with just the steel brush. No chemicals, no polishing, just the brush. I'm going to call this level of cleanliness good. Much less gunky. And uh, I think these washers are going to work. Here we are about a week and a half later. The tool is functional. Um, so when I put this back together, initially I screwed up and got Loctite, um, you know, between the, the tools and the handles. 
Um, so they were stuck again. I recorded a whole thing and was like, oh, I didn't fix the problem. But uh, yeah, it was user error. I uh, went, cleaned it up, and re tighted it more carefully. And uh, now it's working just fine. So we can open the serrated blade. You can also open the uh, saw. All right, let me prove it to you. Sorry, hard to do with one hand. There you go, saw is working. Everything's locking out properly. The uh, handle's open. Let me finagle this open for you. There you go. You can see we're opening and closing just fine. All that gunk is gone. It did take, you know, several cleaning sessions of just like rubbing alcohol and uh, steel brush and just diligence, pure diligence. Uh, I did not disassemble this back half of the handle. So all these tools just got, um, you know, cleaned in place. Um, but yeah, they are working. Let me see if I can actually pull them out on camera. They are a little bit stiff, but you can see they, they come out even with uh, one hand. You can see they clump a little bit. Um, so yeah, there you go. All the tools are retrievable. The handles are working. So yeah, this wave is functionally restored. Uh, I'll let you know, you know, long term if the knife and the uh, saw are affected by how much heat I had to put on them to actually unlock the tool. But um, yeah, so far, so good. And um, yeah, I will update if anything goes wrong. But there you go. Uh, sometimes you have to, uh, you know, take a blowtorch to it to make it work. <laughs> I know people are going to get at me in the comments and be like, this is irresponsible, but you know what? There's no warranty on this tool. It is mine. I own it outright and uh, it wasn't functioning. So kill it with fire. All right. Thanks for joining me. I've been Joe. You've been watching Ink and Iron. If you want more multi-tool stuff, go ahead and like, sub, do the things. I also do knives, EDC gear, typewriters, um, all, anything I want. This is a vlog, not a business. All right. I'll catch you on my next one. Bye.